What's up, gamers? Gamerdad here, back for another item shop review. It is Monday, May 13th, just past 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in Canada, and we have an item shop refresh. I want to give a shout out to all my subscribers. Thanks so much for your support. And without further ado, let's get the review. First up this evening, we've got the Terminator bundle. Here is the Terminator. Terminator has the battle damaged style option, which I love. How you can see his hand there. And then you can also turn the sunglasses off as well. Then we have the Skynet Llama back bling, the Tow Truck Surfer emote, the Mimetic Poly Alloy Blades pickaxe, and the HK Aerial Glider. Now you'll notice there is no Fortnite style for this. I imagine that's because of the, possibly because of the rating that this wouldn't make it in Lego, but I'm not sure why there's no Lego style. But it's 2300 V-Bucks for the bundle. Otherwise, you get the outfit, that pickaxe, the glider, or the emote on their own. Above this in the shop, we've got the Billy Eilish, the Red Roots Billy, as well as the My Hero Academia items up there. We have Champion Siren and Stash still kicking it around. Odyssey was released last evening, so I don't want to get into her, but we did have Astra added this evening. Astra's got two styles. You've got this star option as well as, of course, the default, which is like the galaxies and the constellations. Then we've got the Lego style here. And the Shining Star Back Bling. 1,500 V-Bucks. Next up, Grimy. I think Grimy is actually a really cool outfit. I love the reactivity here, how anytime you eliminate somebody, you'll have like their, their soul appear on your outfit, which is totally a really cool feature. The Lego style looks awesome. And then we have the Glumbo Back Bling. 1,500 V-Bucks. Next, we've got the Cozy Chomps outfit. Three styles for this one. We've got the Pajama Shark option. Then you can also mess around with the, having the tail on or no tail at all. There's the Lego style. Looks pretty darn close. Definitely a good job on that one. Then we have the Sharky Shawl back bling for 1,200 V-Bucks. Next up, we have Instinct. Instinct is a pretty decent looking outfit. It's cool. The Lego style, not as cool looking as the actual outfit itself, but they did a pretty good job. They got the headset there. Looks pretty decent. We also have the Reaction Tank back bling, which definitely goes well with the colors and the overall feel of the outfit and style. 1200 for those items. Next up is the Angular Axe Pickaxe, 500 and Then we have Moniker. Been a little while since I've seen Moniker. You got the two style options there. And then you have this Lego style, which, which looks pretty decent. It's a pretty good match. I'd give this one a thumbs up at 1200 Then, of course, we've got Fortune as well, released earlier in Season 5. I think this is actually a really cool outfit as well. The Lego style looks great, and it's actually a decent buy at 1200 Then we've got the Studded Axe Pickaxe for 800 V-Bucks, as well as the Work It Emote for 500 Next up. The Special Forces outfit. Lego style. Pretty plain looking, but it looks close enough to the outfit. Not bad at 1200 V-Bucks. Next up, we have the Protective Zenko bundle featuring Kamiko Five Tails. So there's an option to have no tails and turn off the reactivity. You can have the reactivity off and have all the tails show. Otherwise, there is this reactive option here. And I believe it was every time you get an elimination, one of the tails will appear. So if you get five limbs, you'll have five little tails. And it stops at five, though. Then we've got the Lego style. Definitely a pretty good attempt at this one, especially with the face there. Then we've got the Kayaku back bling. You can also turn the reactivity off on the back bling as well. And we have the Kitsune Claws. It's an interesting looking pickaxe for sure. And the Fox Clan Protector Wrap. 1500 V-Bucks for the bundle. Otherwise, you get the outfit with the back bling. The pickaxe will wrap on their own. We still have the Fate Carved Warrior bundle featuring Elowen, released last evening. We got that Challenge Icon e Series emote out as well. That came out last evening. We got the Filet Axe Pickaxe for 800 V-Bucks and the Maki Master outfit here. It's got two styles, the Night Option and the Default. Then you got a Lego style, looks spot on. 
and the Shrimpy Back Bling. 1,200. Then we've got Sushi Master up next. The Lego style looks great. And the Chef's Choice Back Bling, which I love. The details of this thing are cool. 1,200. Next up is Swamp Knight. Swamp Knight's a cool outfit, especially at 800 V-Bucks. It's got a lot more going for him than the average 800 V-Buck outfit. Then we've got Trooper up next. There's the Lego style, 800 V-Bucks. Below this, we've got the Star Wars outfits, gear. We got those Lego builds there. We got Perseus's level up quest pack. And it looks like Ascendant Midas is back as part of the Golden King bundle. So here he is. I do own this outfit. You got the shade option here. And then you can also turn the reactivity off or have that gold reactivity on. And so as you get eliminations, the react it becomes reactive. You've also got the Lego style here. We have the Golden King's Cape Back Bling, which I think looks really nice. Two different styles, one to match the shade option. Then we have the Golden Touch Pickaxe. And finally, the Golden Ascension Wrap. Animated and reactive. So because I own this, that's why it's only 500 V-Bucks, because I own the outfit. Otherwise, it's 2,500 V-Bucks for the bundle, or you get the outfit with the back bling or the pickaxe or wrap on their own. So we've also got Dynamic Hush returning as part of the Silence is Golden bundle. I think Dynamic Hush is probably my preferred. Uh, I prefer it over the original Hush outfit. It's got two styles. The Lego style looks pretty decent. We have Hush's hard case back bling, which looks great with the Hush outfit. Then we have the Silent Sting Pickaxe, which is a great looking blade style pickaxe. 1400 V-Bucks for the bundle. Otherwise you get the outfit with just the back bling on its own. Next up, we've got Rufus here. So here is Rufus. He's got two different styles. The second style is just really taking that can off of his head. They call it a hat. It looks like a can, but hey. Then we've got the Lego style, which looks pretty decent, and the trashed can back bling. 1200 V-Bucks. Next up, you can pick up that Silent Sting pickaxe, of course, as part of that bundle. But then here's the Trash Trouncer pickaxe. Just the one style, 800 V-Bucks. Below this, you got that Sentio bundle still, festival gear, no absolutely brand new jam tracks. And the packs are still looking the same down there. So in terms of my favorite additions to the item shop this evening, I like Dynamic Hush, I like Ascendant Midas. They're not new by any means, but they are just additions to the item shop. I also think that Moniker is cool looking, but hey, look at that. This is the stashed outfit that shows for Moniker in style number one there. It's kind of like an error. It shouldn't be showing that way. And even now, it, mon it instead of Moniker, it's showing Fortune. I don't know if that's just mine or what. That looked really weird. But otherwise, I actually like the Moniker and the Fortune outfit as well. So comment down below. Let me know what your favorite item is. Let me know if you're picking up anything for the shop tonight. Please drop a like in the video. And if you're watching and you haven't done so, please do hit that subscribe button and show me that support. And don't forget to use my creator code in your Fortnite item shop. It is GamerDad, all one word, all capital letters. Have a great evening. Until the next video, this is GamerDad, out.